Welcome back to Trauma Team. Uh, th there's a guy who got who, uh, t got g g he got stabbed, but he might have gotten choked, and uh, uh, one of the neighbor might have done it. That there's it's it's a big old murder mystery that we're taking on, and well, I'm gonna solve it. Let's go. Last we last we were here, gonna talk to the to, oh uh, Kirsten Langley, seventy. This this is the neighbor who might have seen it. <laughs> Dennis's <laughs> neighbor. She was asked about what she'd observed on the day of the incident. Let's listen. Oh, don't tell me. Is it going to be coming out of the Wemo? Point for words. Yes, okay. That's right. Okay. Oh, it's been so hot lately. I've been keeping the window that faces out into the street open because this of the, the heat. heat. That's how I could hear my neighbor so clearly. It was, uh, let me think, uh, around three in the afternoon. Yes, it must have been. I was watching Farewell Danny at the time. Oh, I love that movie. I heard this loud noise from my neighbor's room. There was no and noise. The fire alarm started going that was the noise. After that. I was really surprised. Well, I guess oh, technically my. this is a testimony. I don't I think, think she would lie. About 10 minutes. 20 minutes. I out the window and saw smoke coming from next door. That I tracks. ran over to my neighbor's door, but nobody answered when I pounded on it. But I had to see if there was anyone in there, so I pulled on the door. It was chained from the inside, and no one answered me when I yelled. Hmm. Yes, the fire truck came soon after that. A firefighter cut the chain on the door and went inside. My neighbor? No, it seems he lived alone. Oh, but I remember an electrician came <gasps> around. Booyah! It didn't like that very much. Oh, that's just the end, I think. I remember an electrician came at around noon. Yes, I heard him talking outside the front door, so I don't think I could be mistaken. Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's go all the way back to the beginning and uh, press everything. Yes, the Phoenix Wright right. method. Go. Close to the end of yes. spring. Okay. Yeah. I've been keeping yes. the window that faces out into the... Nothing on about okay, that. Okay, nothing that's about that. Normal. Hmm. Yeah. Farewell, Danny. I, I like that show. I hate that insipid show. <laughs> noise from next door. A loud noise followed by the fire. That may be a clue. Yay. So that must have been him, maybe. It's like, oh no, I have a pimple. Crashing around. The way she described it, the sound doesn't seem to have been something extreme. Yeah, not an explosion, but maybe somebody. Someone in the room. Yup. Something else. We have to go in there and look at it. Noise coming from the room around 3 p.m. and then the fire started. Oh, maybe a firework? I hope not. <laughs> that would suck. Okay. Right, let's... Yeah, let's let's give it to dude. Mm, dude. Anything on the analysis? I think we're still on that one. What do you got on the neighbor's account? Nope, nothing there. Uh, is there a way? Oh, uh, can we combine that to that? Nope. Damn it! Alright, uh... So, signs of asphyxiation... Dead... Maybe... No? No? Okay. The room, the fire oh, wait! Oh, wait! Ah! Long after that. The neighbor heard noises coming from Dennis's room. The fire started. Fire started. That suggests... De oh, wow. Hmm. Hmm. At around 3 p.m. He was at least alive until 3. Maybe? Yeah! Okay. So that's a time of death. Right. At least that's all we can determine using our current information. The deceased was alone at the time, so there's a good chance he made the noise. Hmm. Still, at least we that's what we hope. To see I'm if there hoping. Was anyone else in the room when it happened. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, so now they're gonna interview her about the other person. Uh, should we look at the testimony again? I assume there's nothing else here, right? Shouldn't be. This is certainly a thorn in my side there. Don't worry, we'll get there. All right, so now that we think that yeah, there might nice. be somebody else there... It's still the same test. Oh wait, yep. there we go. Was, was anyone there? there? Yes, that's right. 
No, wait. Neighbor's condition. What? Yes, that's right. What? It's the same thing. Well, now we're looking for was anyone there? The electrician. So, same testimony, okay. different question. Gotcha. I so, see. an electrician had come to the deceased's room that day at around noon. They're asking different questions on the same testimony. He hecka did it. Aw, we didn't go up a star. Supposedly started. It's going to be used to make another star go up. Yes. Hey, there we go. We have up, what moved the plot forward. What do you got for me? What you got, little man? Ah, little guy. Perfect timing. It seems an electrician entered the deceased's room around noon on the day of the incident. If he's talked to your people, can you ask them for the recordings of the interview? All right, I'll contact them immediately. Please do. How's the analysis going? Terribly! <laughs> I'm the not right panicking, ma'am, but I'm, right I'm panicking force. a lot. It's rather odd. There are no signs of healing in the fracture. Didn't area. know that my assistant was a VTuber. No traces of healing. <laughs> Just a simple that PNG. Mean. He doesn't even have enough to afford it opening its mouth. He was born with a broken finger. Wow. The bone broke after he died. That's right. Reactions to injury, like minute healing and hypodermic hemorrhaging, are vital reactions. They only occur see, while the, the body bo human body is cool. Like when you get stabbed or get hurt or whatever, the body Thus, does what no it can to heal itself. To this yep. broken bone, the fracture happened. It must have occurred after the person was already dead. So he died, got his finger broken. Died via strangling, and then after he died, like fell on his finger. He d died via strangling. Then they uh, cut his wrist to make it look like like a suicide. Yeah. But they broke his well, finger in the process. Oops. Because the body's not really focusing Still, on, uh, you know, that yeah. kind of thing. If his huh. index finger was broken, it's all coming together. We'll but find this mind, rabid electrician who's killing his people. There we go. Level up. All right. right. Electrician visit. Go to that. From there. <laughs> Uh, how about, uh... Dead. <laughs> Actually, since, uh... Seems oh, wait, wait, wait. What seems odd about the broken finger and the slash wrist is that... Uh... Oops. The knife was in an injured hand. Ta-da! Brilliant. Yes. The deceased would have had to they, hold the knife. They break your finger and then you can try and stab him with this wrist. knife. Then he would have had to cut deep enough to sever the artery, putting pressure on his broken finger. Yeah, and again, Even it's a clean right swipe, there, too. There's no way you can do that and just shoop. Ain't no thing. Now's not the time to be a chat about it, okay? <laughs> uh, can we send this back to the little guy? Nope. Nope. Uh. Hmm. How about. <laughs> He's just trying everything at this point. Yeah, that might be it. I think we might be done here. Yep. yep. Hello, Dr. Kimishima. You got the small talk. What do you want? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Come on. HQ's question the electrician that the neighbor <gasps> Yes. G give me recordings. the recordings. I gotta see what this guy says. Was, Where's so the slip up? Problem. Now we'll find out why that electrician went to the deceased's room. Well, well, he might not have been deceased when he got there, but it certainly was when he left, I bet. Oh, he looks like a criminal. Look at this guy. Electrician who visited Dennis's room the day of the incident. He was asked about what happened that day. Listen to the testimony. We got. Yes. Um, uh, yes, that's right. A, a murder? Yes, that's fine. How is a murder fine? He <laughs> said his ear was broken. A likely story. Around noon, I th oh, he fixed the air. We should focus on that. Hmm. There's air repair. Having a repairman come to work on the ventilation system. Correct, but, but I want to see what least, the, what he has Dennis to say for the rest. Alive when the electrician came. We need to learn about the deceased's condition at that time. Oh. Right. So, answer that question. Go back to the recorder. And then we can Listen ask the other question about Dennis his status. status. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, yes. Yes. That was 
around noon, I think. I got the call earlier that day. Okay. Yes. He said he needed it fixed that day, so I went straight there when I finished the job I was doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was really quick. All I had to do was swap out a cable. Right. I think I was only there for about an hour. For an hour? For an hour to swap out a cable? Yeah. Right. Yes, I fixed his heater. The customer? Heater? Heater? Yeah. At this time of year. The customer? Uh, well, the way he looked. I wouldn't be surprised if he what? Around 3 p.m. It wouldn't be surprising. Wouldn't be surprising. To make it look like his alibi holds up. It's like, oh yeah, he looked like they would kill himself, and then they wouldn't have any, uh... They wouldn't have any thought about it. Does that mean the deceased had a motive for killing That's the thing about depression. You, you can't look at, a, at, a, at someone and think, oh yeah, they're depressed. You doesn't can tell by work. their actions and how they talk. Doesn't quite work that way. We need to ask another question. Question? Doesn't seem like it. Nope. Let's take a look at our evidence then, see yeah, if we yeah, can't yeah. get anything to match. Okay, him and... Uh, you got anything on that? Oh, uh, nope. this and the flower. That and the flower? Nope. Damn it! Uh... Th oh, this and the hemorrhage. Okay. Oh, uh... Indeed. Yeah, Both of here these we go. Facts relate the last time the deceased was seen alive was... Was... Between noon and 1 p.m., right? Because that was when- because that was when the electrician came. That's- yeah, that's what he says in his testimony. Excellent, Excellent reasoning. reasoning! At that time, he seemed... Depressed. He seemed depressed. I think this is yes. just building up for this a big evidence reveal. Yep. Uh, the last time you believe the deceased could have been alive is... It'd be around 3 p.m., right? Uh, uh, from the information that... The it's believed that the latest Dennis was still alive. It's either three or two. The latest was, it was... The latest was around three. Ta-da! Hmm. Indeed. The neighbor reports hearing a sound from the Yes, okay. Time. Yeah, that was Within the an hour correlation. After that, a fire started in his room. The deceased fire. was later discovered dead. You'll get caught That's up in the fire! Anything okay. on that? Nope. Uh, how about, uh... Air, air repair with, with Deadman? Air repair... I, I know, I want to make him fit. <laughs> I just want to piece it all together. Can we put the two testimonies together? Hmm. Yes, these Holy shit, I mean, I mean they are... Yeah. On the day of the incident, the electrician it. had been asked to repair the deceased's air. The Correct. The electrician went to the deceased's room. Went to the room, room neighbor, left after finishing left the work. Finishing. Mm -hmm. Both the deceased's neighbor and the electrician himself agree on this. That's alibis. So okay. That's just corroborating right there. Cool. There we go. There Time we go. To sort through it all. All right. If we can learn more, let's go ahead and analyze. See what we got. Hey, little guy. I want to go through the information that we've gathered so far. I'm 5'11". Right. Let's piece it all together step by step. Let's do that. The deceased, Dennis Taylor, was found dead in his apartment. I've solved it! Let's see. His body was discovered because... Oh, I know this part! He found it! I mean, uh... uh a fire. A fire. Funny noises. <laughs> I like, I like the, the uh, scream. The fire, ah! the, scene, the fire had already gone out. His corpse was found on the bed. That's right. The FBI and police initially ruled this case. So as a was the fire just the, the tip off just to get people in there? Yeah. Must have been a small fire then. Okay, it appeared so that he had the died. The slash. He was wearing a shirt. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> That's correct. The other reason was. Uh, uh, he would. Uh, oh, the, uh, the door, door was, was locked. locked. Yes. Excellent yeah. reasoning. Indeed. The slashed wrist. What a morbid the logic you got there, lady. Suicide. It would well, I mean, so desperate for a lot of people who investigate homicides are and set his room very on. depressing themselves. That isn't a surprise. They have to think of the worst possible situations. This is rated T. That's surprising. Is it really? Oh yeah. For what exactly? Rated T for blood, language, suggestive themes, use of tobacco, and violence. Yeah, that all tracks. Okay, so that is his blood, and only his fingerprints were on there. Hmm. 
Those are all true, but there was something odd about that wound on his wrist. First... It looked tasty. I mean, no pain reaction wounds. It was Another great with is. salt. Another discrepancy is... There was, there was no <laughs> knife! It doesn't exist! Right, uh, it so was, it in, was his... in his... Right hand. Wait, his left hand. Because it's facing here. Blood's here. It was... E... It was in his right hand, then. Yeah, it was in his right hand. Here we yeah. go. I actually his had to think back to the fractured. shirt. Would he have been able to use a knife with a wounded hand? It's very unlikely. But that's not the only thing that raises doubt. Boop. If he did die of the knife wound, he would Boop. have bled to death. He just grabs your, your finger. <gasps> Boop. However, oh look, another broken finger. Well, I don't see- ah, ah. Yeah, no, I can't is... move it. Oh wait, hold on. Died from uh, blood loss, there was something odd about the condition of the body. It was the hemorrhaging uh, in the, the eyes. eyes. The wound on the left wrist. Hmm. <laughs> well, Where did this right. blood come well, out? What slosh, if, slosh, slosh, slosh. What if we examine this closer? There's more than enough evidence to doubt that this was mm, a suicide. It's on my eyes. But according to the electrician's statement, the victim seemed like he might be in a state to commit suicide. Uh, Indeed. There are too many uncertainties to be That's the one thing I'm kind of getting a question mark on. So, yeah, so a guy just says, yeah, it looked like you he could do it. It looked like you'd die. You could Little never know. Never know. Oh, understood. You shouldn't have a problem, Dr. Kimishima. I'm sure my bosses will approve you right away. Yes, but I don't intend to waste any time. I'm going there right now. <laughs> I can't wait for approval. <laughs> See ya. Yeah, she actually is doing that. I, I kind of love that. Just take charge, kick the door down. It's like I'm investigating I got now. Thing, I got things to do, places to be, people to see. Okay, come let's on, go. let's go, let's go. The exit. Ooh, okay. Here, another fun part. I love this. All right, let's look. There are so many things to look at right now. It's just fantastic. All right, so scene of the crime. This is where the deceased's corpse was. If this blood stain is his blood, then. Boop. Uh, lying, lying on, on his, his back. back. Doing a handstand. <laughs> wow, look at him go! I like to have fun yes. here, you see. The we... injury was on his left wrist. From the position of the blood stain, it would appear he was lying face up on the bed. There was only the one blood stain, so he didn't move around much after his wrist was slit. If this truly Maybe is he was suicide, already dead. That he bled to death here. However, the amount of hemorrhaging yep, seems not to enough be too blood. small for a man to completely Boop. bleed out. Yeah, I mean, that's why it's usually in a bathroom when you do all the stuff, so it's not mm. dwell on that, you know. It, it can be anywhere. Nothing in particular. Yeah, how about the Yeah, I, I gotta here. see what this, this is. Table. Hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now that I look closely, the burns are most severe right here. What was burning? Yeah, let's take a look at what was burning. Things. If I send this for analysis, I might find out what was on fire on the table. Set off a pipe bomb. Oh, that's, that's broken. Oh, yeah. It's that might have been the noise. There's a speed selector and a timer. Hmm. One of the blades seems to be broken, though. Back the finger! <laughs> this is odd because, uh, a repairman came that it's day? It's not fan season. Yeah, it would have to be. Oh, yeah, he would have fixed it. But that's more for. Huh. Then what was fixed? Had supposedly come to fix the air. I need to well, he came to fix the heater. To confirm what he actually fixed. Okay. Uh, chains. And boop, because, boop. because it was locked. Oh, uh, yeah, can we do the chain there? Nothing? Uh, what are your other options, or can you only examine right now? I've only got the magnifying okay. glass. Uh, so there's that, there's Bit that. There's a struggle here. Oh, at least I didn't seem to... Think too much about that. How about the drawers? It looks like some somebody's looking for something. Hmm, the deceased's. Oh, there we go. I was so caught up in the kitchen. Hello, little guy. Can you hear me? Oh, uh, yes, I hear you. Did you Have I been approved? Like Don't care. Yes. Check this out. Can you do me a favor and look into the deceased's friends? I'm going to send you a picture right now. Try getting a hold on whoever that is. I really right. hope it's the girl we just diagnosed in the last episode. It's the neighbor. Let's see. First, about the deceased himself. It'd be great to find out more about the day of the incident. All right, I'll make preparations to have them question. I'll send you the recordings of their answers, so please check the recorder. So we've got a lot of new information good. to comb through here. I love it. I'll be counting on you. Boop. All right, we're good. Let's go. 
Bye! Is that really it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oop. Wait, no, not the evidence room. <laughs> I just want to get one good look at you. Because we're, we're going to look at evidence, you know. Now we're heading to the office to look at the info that we already got. What?! Interrogated the man in the photo that was found in the victim's room. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, let's see it. All right, we got we got a lot of okay, yes, yeah, okay. Easy, man. We're not. Can in we a just rush. get to the people here? All right, so. Oh, our victim definitely looks like a Dennis. Do but we have yeah, any? I, I do want to. I thought we did. Do we have any new testimony here? To listen to, or are we just taking a look? Just at for this guy, James Morton, Dennis's friend. He was asked about how the victim had acted before his death. Let's go. What you want, man? Why, why are you calling me out here? Huh? You want to talk about Dennis? <laughs> you better off asking his girlfriend. <laughs> Remember that. The name's uh, Stella. Stella! On <clears throat> Street. Yeah, she can probably tell you more about Dennis than I can. Yeah, she oh, she's gonna roll out. those dice. <laughs> no, nothing. He's a friend of mine, you know. I don't hate him. I mean, we've been drinking. But together Stella used to be died. your girlfriend. Uh, he did seem pretty flush recently, if you know what I mean. Uh, he called me up out of the blue and uh, said he'd pick up the tab that night. It hmm. wasn't really important. It was just how he normally brags. He was all hmm. oh, okay, he must be a YouTuber. T-shirt he was wearing too. The red ones are a limited edition of something. What rare. kind of guy who's looking that? to end his life Lame. would be living it up like this? Yeah, he worked at this crappy little bar in some back alley. Then again, okay. probably can't really call it a bar. Either. We call it a dive. Who knows, man? I don't. <gasps> hey, that's why I... hey, that's hmm. Why I said should be talking to his girlfriend. Is he, he making bets? Is he mm. in with the wrong crowd? Think that he offed himself. <laughs> it's just stupid. And he was one sharp SOB, always looking out for himself. <laughs> I mean, he always thought that if you had no money, then you should get out and steal some. <laughs> wow. But, <laughs> you really think someone like that would just kill himself? I kind of agree. Someone with that much willing to gonna... live, you know? Oh. Ah, oh, man. All right, well, there's something here that Kimishima is uh, picking up on, so how about... Why, why are you calling me out? Nope. Yeah, okay. Nope. The name. Oh, I kind of want to read what she has to say. Close cool. friend. With uh, the victim. That money. money. Why his invite friend him out. out. Bragging. Bragging. A Portland Jacks t-shirt. If he was telling the truth, the victim was wearing that shirt on the day of the incident. Did somebody come in and jack his shirt? Dude, <laughs> sick threats. This testimony, it it was rare. The deceased would have committed suicide. Hmm. That reminds me. The man said in his interview that the deceased had a Track her down. Him. Get her. I wonder if HQ knows who she is. This is worth asking little guy about. Yes, nope. did you call Dr. Kimishima? I need to know Yes, ma'am. A woman named Stella Abbott. Oh, the deceased's girlfriend? Well, technically, is it? <gasps> Shush. Matter. Can you find her? We already have. HQ's just finished questioning her. Hey, great Let me see the testimony. All right. Please. Yes, now I want to see the mind. recording. I feel like I'm getting closer to understanding who Dennis Taylor really is. A player. All right. Ooh, what a looker she... Oh, oh wait. <laughs> Kristen Langley! Wow! All right, I think I need to look at some info before that comes in here. All right. So, favored shirt, ashes. Favorite shirt, ashes. Damn it. Nope. Uh... Blood stains on bed, favorite shirt. <laughs> oh, what was fixed fan? That's the easiest one. D nope. Oh. The there electrician supposedly, but he didn't repair the ceiling fan, or did the fan break after the electrician had left? Or did he break it himself? Exactly. In any case, I'll need to hear his account again. How about uh, How about nothing there? How about blood stain? This is a blood stain. I did some quick calculations. A stain of that size would take about 800 milliliters of blood. Ooh. The average adult male would have to lose yeah, at least 15 not fatal. Not fatal. More this good information. That. He definitely didn't bleed to death. He definitely <laughs> That's <laughs> not blood. <laughs> 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 
No? What? Oh. Ugh. Not dealing in absolutes he might, might not, not have bled. Oh, no, no, dude, I might not have bled to death. I love how she took emotional damage from that. Well, you might well, not be stupid. Blood uh, varies from person to person, so this isn't quite proof. It is unusual, though. All right, oh, how about... Yeah, nothing there. We already checked the ashes on that. Uh, ashes on dead? Nope. No, nothing on there. Uh, ashes on hemorrhaging? Not enough blood on body. Oh, uh, yeah, ashes on hemorrhaging, asphy asphyxiation. Damn it. I think I mean, like, actual choking, not oh, just okay. like... Okay. <laughs> I think that's it, because we have another way to look for the, uh, electrician. Oh, uh, shirt. Oh, you, I think you already tried that shirt. Not enough blood. Not enough blood. Not enough dead. Not, not enough electrician. Activity. Uh, not enough ashes. Oh yeah, we Ooh, need to analyze. The, how about the ashes? What was the ashes? What we do here? All right. Well, they're gonna take time to investigate that. Okay, I think. Oh, personal effects. Yes. Yeah, take a look at personal these personal effects. effects. He's not wearing the shirt. Somebody jacked his shirt. No. Or burned it. Who's jacking his shirt? What do we uh, got here? No, no, no. 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 <laughs> that reminds me. Some. Hmm, a shirt. That's interesting. Odd. There's nothing that stands out about the clothing. Somebody said something. Except about the what fact that it's missing. <laughs> uh, how about the back? Something on the back, though. Or did we actually? Did we get the solution that we needed? Okay, nothing there. Fine ass. Or lack thereof. Yeah, I think we got what we came here for, unless they're saying, look at the pocket. And he's not wearing a shirt there. Alright. Hmm. Uh, one more testimony? Because we... Oh! Uh, combine that with shirt. About this there we shirt go. Yeah. Me. Uh, it's a... Cha yeah! That's right. The deceased was apparently so wearing... So, I think somebody robbed him and then killed him. him. Probably. Ay ay ay. There? Okay. So I already changed clothes. Uh... We probably have to wait for the ashes to come in to figure out that it was the burnt shirt. Uh, try. Uh -huh. There it is. Kimishima, did you receive the voice data? From and the he has girlfriend? You should be able to listen to it using the recorder. Right. Let's do it! At first, first I thought I he said, you're gonna want to listen to this. It did seem fairly well off for somebody with... Oh, uh, source of income, jeez, come on! <laughs> How did you get through Ace Attorney and all these? Just by speeding through everything. All right, well, let's... Okay, hang on. What was fixed? Let's see what was fixed first. It was his heater. Yes. Uh, he said his air... Yes. He said he... That was... He said his air was... Okay, uh, but he was talking about his yeah, heater. It was, it was later, it was later. Yeah. I fixed his heater. Yes. I've... Bam. I gotcha. Heater. I fucking got you. It's, it's too, too hot, hot to, to need the, the heater. heater. Uh... It's been so hot. Everyone's got their window open and the air was yeah. fixed. So why'd you fix it? You idiot. You idiot. Yes, the deceased's neighbor mentioned that. Summer is already starting. And yet Who fixes the their heater in incident, summer? The deceased wanted to have Crazy people, day. that's who. I mean, I can see uh, getting your AC in winter, but your heater in summer, I don't think so. Mm -mm. All right, I gotta hear this. All right, now to the Goyle friend. Hello, Stella ex. Abbott, Dennis's ex-girlfriend. She was asked about Dennis' active activities when he was alive. Yeah, let's figure out how he got that Seriously? money. Seriously, what do you guys want? I've got work to do, so let's get this over with. Oh, you sound uh, like a queen. Dennis? You mean Dennis Taylor? Wow, well, that name brings back bad memories. We broke up years ago. Whoa! Yeah, at first I thought he was an interesting guy, pretty cool and all, but he never had a job, and he just. What? He never had a job, and he just kind of wandered through life. Oh, Until he always had money. I'm sure he didn't come by it honestly. Uh oh. oh. Ugh, are you really this slow? Don't you get it? Drugs. <laughs> he was a drug dealer. Oh, he was. oh no! Drugs. Not 
the dirt. He's a dirt dorler. No. Now that we. The deceased had this hidden dark side. I mean, it's not that unbelievable. So they probably like killed him and robbed him for dirts. A dirt dealer. <laughs> Still, I can't let my prejudices cloud the truth. I need to remain objective. I do like how she is. Dirty death like, dealing. Yeah, yeah, she's like cut and narrow. <laughs> she's just like, hey, drugs. Oh, I don't even take AMS, aspirin. The advanced light source that can adjust the How much more of this case is left? That's right. The Probably a lot. Really it's an entire case. Selected from that object. The ALS lets you select a particular wavelength to focus only on what you want to see. Or hide what you don't want to see. <gasps> uh oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. Uh -oh. Thanks, little guy. Heading back to the crime scene. Back to depending the on how, crime if you actually scene. want to head back to the crime scene. It's, it's, we've got a little bit of time. Let's see what, <laughs> what let's see what we got. All right. Yeah, we got. We can use the left thing now. <laughs> Just speed it along. Speed it along. Wow. How about uh, over to the right? Oh, oh, there we oh, go. Uh, hey, Residue! Footprints! Okay. I can guess at what this powder is, but I should send it in for analysis just in case. <laughs> I'd rather not guess. Uh, yeah, is there anything over here? Hmm. There's nothing around the bed. There's gonna be something on the. Oh, oh! Hello! What we got here? Bingo. There's more of that powder inside the Ooh, hey. The stash! What an obvious place for a hiding spot. Mr. Taylor wasn't all that clever. No, he wasn't. Are you dunking on a dead man, Kimishima? A dead dirt dealer. Oh, that's true, that's true. He he did dirt drugs. And that's it. It's okay. Alright. All right. <laughs> Later. There's gonna be a lot of back and forth in here. Yeah, I'm surprised little guy didn't give us this in the first place. How dare he? Again, easing into it. Yeah, I can imagine we're gonna we're gonna head to so many different places and not know what to exactly look for. But that was an if, idiot. if they give us all the tools, it, it'll be fine. A number of different sets of footprints were identified in that powder as well. Whoa! They all belong to the firefighters. Uh, police. Damn it! Yeah, that was I was part of the crime. Uh, fell when the fire started. Drugs were there for days. They fell when the fire started. The killer is a firefighter. It's <laughs> one of the selections. <laughs> we got him. Dirt! Exactly. That would be the case. The room belonged to the deceased. If the drugs had been spread on the floor before the incident, his foot. See, he was just trying to make it well. snow, just to make but it more interesting when the people came in. From people who <sighs> was this guy secretly jigsaw? Are we just finding out that this guy was more clever than he let on? I don't know what you do with cocaine, but you know. I just... <laughs> We just gotta do something with I it, just I blew some cocaine. Dennis, all right, so heater uh, repair. <laughs> got that. For those reasons, it's for, it's for air circulation. Air circulation. <laughs> Cleaning! <laughs> if yes. I turn the fan the at full blast, it'll blow the dust everywhere. That's still getting analyzed? Come yes. on. Still getting analyzed. Uh, <laughs> nope. How about uh, Dennis's income with shirt? This is gonna come with the dirts. All right. We can let's do that though. The information. White powder is dirts. It's not powdered toast. It's baby formula. <laughs> yes. The trail of drugs okay. led Ex to if the excellent same deduction. The floor was inside. I'm, I'm speeding this along. We're, do you we're, remember we're, when we were doctors? We're this here. I, I, I do. Discovered in the wall, Dennis's room. Uh, place to place to hide. Place to hide. Yeah. A secret escape route. That's that is actually a much better answer. I would have footprints. totally gone with that. So all the drugs had footprints, and what the footprints had in common is that they were made after the fire. Indeed. Boop. There, so from this, we can deduce that the drugs must have been scattered on the floor when... Hmm. Uh, 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 just before the fire? Excellent. Yes. If I take this even further, I'd say that it would have been after Mr. Taylor stopped moving. They In found the stash. Words, I mean, it must he, have happened. If, there would have been footprints and when if he would have been alive, started. but he died and but then that happened and then why the fire. Were there drugs on the floor. Uh, Whoever took them, dropped them. 
Dennis is a slob. Him, whoever took him and dropped him. Here's Arthur's souls. <laughs> I have, yeah! I have to think. Solid evidence! The other pieces, the other selections are just random thoughts going through Kimishima's head. <laughs> They must have spilled out when someone removed the drugs from the hole of the Hell room. yeah. Dennis Taylor was killed, and someone walked out with the drugs. I'm sorry. But but I need to move on to the next step. By the way, my finger's still broken. Can you, like, snap it back, please? Oh, thank you. Uh, Dr. Kimishima, have you confirmed that it's a murder after all? I don't know how you heard about that so quickly, little guy. Are you, you in my thoughts? On me? I can hear I can hear everything that happens. Can you please not? I get it. I can see right through you. I've got your room bugged. Oh come on! Do I need to explain it to you? Back and forth. We're gonna go back to the crime scene again. Yes, I know how it works. I just spray this on to punch How about next time on Trauma Team, we'll head back to the crime scene. You know, that sounds like an idea. Maybe we'll finish it once and for all and maybe get to get a surgery done. Boop. <laughs> I, uh, mi I miss being a doctor. Uh, yeah, all right. Next time we'll be a doctor after we solve this case. Yeah. See you next time, doctor. Yeah. Doctor. Yeah. Detective. Detective. Crime scene investigator. <laughs> I hate this job change. <laughs> I want to go back to the hospital. This is hard. I, I need. I need to I, hold on. I, I need to do something doctor related. Yep, he's dead. Okay, there. Huh. I feel like I'm, in, I'm. 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 I'm with my people now. What the heck is this thing anyway? See you next time. <laughs> <laughs>